Welcome back to the Fanboy Cantina. In this video, we're doing a review of the Tiny Arcade Atari 2600. I'm a fan of the Tiny Arcade line, but I did not know this existed until Dan Larson from the Toy Galaxy channel posted these pictures onto Twitter. And so I just had to run out and get one for myself. You can pick it up at Target, priced at $19.99. So here it is. It is the Tiny Arcade Atari 2600, the smallest fully functioning desktop console game. You get nine Atari games, and that includes Centipede, Pong, Missile Command, Breakout, Asteroids, Combat, Warlords, Millipede, and Tempest. And you get a bonus game of Pac-Man. Pac-Man is shown separately here because it was produced by the company Namco. So with that, let's dive right in. Let's unbox this thing. And here it is out of the package. Look at how fun this is. A miniature version of the Atari 2600. You've got the console, the joystick, the TV that actually works here. It's smaller than that can of pop. It's great with your six inch action figures as well. There are little plastic feet at the bottom of the TV so that the unit won't be, you know, flush against your tabletop. In terms of controls, there's not much here. You know, many of those little switches are just decorative. The only thing you can do on that console unit is that red cartridge looking thing, which is actually a button for activating and resetting the unit. You have the joystick, which you will use for selecting your game and playing your games as well. If you want a different angle, you can pull on the little brown tab and the screen will come out. There's not much to do on the main screen. You simply scroll through, find the game that you want to play, and press the button on your joystick to select it. We're going to check out the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man right now here. Listen to that sound. If you played this originally back in the day, this is a faithful rendition of the Atari 26 version of the game. The controls are about just as wonky, right? Because you're using that uh, joystick. They're just as wonky as the original. It's a little bit hard to see because you've got the blue background and the awfully, awfully small, you know, action that's going on here. But it's a lot of fun to just relive the original game in its Atari version. Now this is Pong, and it's weird to say, but I love the look of this video game because this is what Pong is. It's one of the very first video games around. It's black and white. All it is is two lines going back and forth with this ball. And it, uh, unfortunately, it's everything here is a one player game, so you can't have somebody on that second controller, but uh, how cool to include that. A strange thing about this unit, even though it's called the Tiny Arcade Atari 2600, the games themselves are not all the Atari 2600 versions of those games. And that actually, I think, is a good thing because in reality, some of those games did not play all that well. And so here with Tempest, we've got a superior version of the Tempest game. And it's, it's a lot of fun to play. It's pretty close to that original arcade version of the game. The unit also has Centipede and Millipede. We'll check out Centipede here. Check this out. This looks like the arcade version of the Centipede game. Uh, there may be some differences, but it's a good faithful rendition. A lot of fun to play. We also have Asteroids, and I love how this looks. Just like Pong, right? It's an old video game, black and white. But they've gone with a very faithful rendition here. It looks a lot like the arcade version of the video game, different than the Atari 2600 version. And it works and sounds just great. Missile Command is probably my favorite game in the unit. Just listen to that sound. It's a fun game to play, and it's pretty close to the arcade version of the video game. Just a lot of fun to play, and you know some of the mechanics may be a little bit off, but it's uh, close enough for me and a lot of fun. 
This is Warlords. Warlords was one of the games that you needed a paddle controller to play. And, uh, you know, but the mechanics work perfectly fine with the joystick here. Uh, the graphics remind me of like an, an Apple II kind of version, you know, from the 80s or something. This is Combat. Combat is a little bit hard to play because you've got the bright background. It shows up poorly here in the video. Uh, but it's got a bright background, so it's a little bit hard to see. You're playing against the computer because you've only got the one controller. But it's, it's, it's fun to play this game. I used to love this game uh, way back when. And finally, we have Breakout. Breakout is my least favorite game in the unit because in order to move that bar around, you got to tap, tap, tap the joystick. So not a lot of fun to play this game. But thankfully, there are so many other great games in this unit. So post in the comments, what do you think of the Tiny Arcade, Atari 2600, and what was your favorite home video game back in the day? I think this thing is great. You're not going to be playing this thing for hours on end, but it's great to be able to just pick it up, get a few games in, get that burst of nostalgia. I'm actually glad that the games in here are sometimes the arcade versions or some other updated versions of the games. It's a lot of fun to play. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina. <laughs>